I'm about to show you how to create mockups, not just creating the mockups, but actually know how to edit it uh, in case of future projects. And the application that we're going to be using for this um, design is the Ally Motion application. So um, let's go back and create new project. So click on create new project. I'm going to name this um, debit card. The reason is because when you want to come back for um, maybe you want to read DTs and put in or that maybe another business card, sorry, debit card, then you know that this is the debit card mock-up. So you don't get to start looking for it. So this is debit card. And um, the aspect ratio I'm going to choose here is just let me choose this aspect ratio. And yeah, make sure you have 2160 pixels, which is 4K. That is 4K pixels. And um, transparent and 30 frames per second. So create new project. What you want to do here is to actually pull out the shape, which is a rectangular shape, and you know, scale up or just use these three dots right here and stretch the screen. Once you're done with that, just make it um, white for now. All right, so it's time to create um, an object where we can actually put in this debit card. So I've actually designed this debit card using Pixel App. So of course, that's very uh, that's very easy. So first of all, you have to create um, the card or, or design the card on Pixel App. You can move it over to um, a light motion for the mock-up placement so click on add button and come to object now create an empty group and on this empty group this is where you import the um, first of all click on the group one which you can call it the the business card sorry the debit card debit or insert the Card here. Alright, so once it's named, click on Edit Group. Now we are actually on the group right now. So come here, come to Media. Now I have the card right here, so I want to click on this card. And of course, you can see. So the card is already here. So I want to scale down. Scale down. Now you can decide whether to have it as rounded edges because right now it's actually pointed edges. So it's purely rectangular right here. So if you want to make it rounded, if you want to, if you want to have a round edge. All you have to do is just pull out this rounded edge rectangle, click on it, and scale till it fits, you know, the edges. Alright, so once you have it right there, come to edit shape and increase the radius. So your taste, I think this should be okay. And the next thing is to actually mask, so copy the two and come to mask which is this one in the center and we have it so the next thing is to actually go back so click on the debit card and go back so we have it right here now it's time for the positioning so come over now we have to choose a background color and uh, so i'm um, just click on the background which is the rectangle we'll call this the background background then we have to choose a color. Now this color should be related to you know, something you know, closer to black. So come to edit color. Then you can move this up a bit so it just have to be all black. Then come to the insert business card here and um, scale down. Scale down to your taste. I think this should be okay. Then we have to move it. Still come to positioning and come to move. So move it over to this edge. And so the next thing is to actually come to the effects option, come to add effects, and come to distortion and warp, and go down to tiles. So click on tiles. So when, once you have it, just click on the standard. And here we have it. Now come to crop because now it's you know it's all just packed together. Come to crop and reduce the you know take it down a bit. And once you have it set, then um, go back. And apply some rotation. All right, so this is 20 degree rotation. I move this up a bit, and we are good to go. And the next thing is to actually, you know, make this more realistic by putting shadows on that. So come to border and shadow. Come to this one right here, this one down here. Then activate the shadow, 
then come to positioning right so uh, position it uh, in terms of x um, let's take it down a bit take it down then come to y y coordinate take it down I'll take it up brother so it looks as if it's actually coming down then reduce the opacity just a bit I think let's still take this down a bit increase the alpha right so once you have that set you can still you know, adjust the background just to make sure it's okay yeah I think this is okay I'm mean, good to go and you know the mock-up is ready so you can actually save it right here come to this icon and come to current frame as PNG and export it come to save now the question is what if you have another project that you want to use you want to create a new mock-up um, maybe use this or reuse this particular mock-up for another project now all you just have to do is to just come to insert the card here edit group and of course you, you you we are actually on the group right now still come to this group and edit it again now we have the business card down here sorry the debit card down here so all you just have to do is just click on it come to color and fill and um, click on this and it's going to give you option to choose so let me see I designed this so just come to add so it's been added all I just have to do is to just go back all right so go back to insert card here and go back to the debit card of course you can see it but now the background is not that pleasant so we need to you know um, t uh, go for another color you can choose to go for this which is still nice maybe uh, click on it just to edit it to your taste all depends on what you want actually I think this should be okay. And here we have it. So you can you can, you know you can reuse this over and over again. And yeah. So um, if you haven't you know I you know I actually made a video with a light motion okay, where I um, created a logo mockup, right? So you can actually watch that. The link will be in the description. And I'm gonna put out more and more videos on create you know mockups using light motion. So I will see you in the next tutorial.